Hi, Ray Hayden here, and I want to apologize in advance for the audio quality because I'm in the tallest uh, room in the office. There's a lot of it's a vaulted ceiling, and there's a lot of echo going on, so I apologize about that. This video is the second of probably three that I'm going to make on these cabinet doors. These are MDF, I do know the material now, it's MDF, medium density fiberboard. I also did some more research on YouTube and uh, found out that really, uh, a really good reason for using these is that it's easy to use, it's uh, a nice flat material, it doesn't warp like plywood might, uh, unless you're using solid hard woods uh, in very expensive cabinetry, um, you, you probably want to, the builders when they first build these homes for financial economy, probably want to go with medium density fiberboard as long as it's a good quality medium density fiberboard, which apparently come in different quality levels, then um, it's a good way to go. They hold their shape and they can hold those metal mine uh, coverings very well. Uh, those, the ones that I removed lasted like 16, 17 years or so. And uh, that was the first video, how I was able to remove those just using a, a regular blow dryer, household blow dryer. And I was able to remove the material by putting my fingers behind it and popping it off. And that worked very well for all of my doors. And only like one or two of them gave me a little bit of problem, but uh, all the little covers came off very nicely. Uh, so we decided, uh, my wife and I, this is my office, we decided we would paint these doors um, and, and if they, they came out looking great, they did. And then, you know, we'll keep them just painted. And these particular doors are just primed. This is not the final paint job, that'll happen next weekend. But uh, this is the uh, primer, it's Kills 2, the water-based version of Kills, and it is a flat primer, so it looks very nice uh, flat. And the thing about that was, I like the reflection of light, but not necessarily the reflection of whatever is giving us the light. Let me get over here to the microwave for a second. And, uh, you know, the, the frame of the microwave is a very high shine, a very reflective plastic. And, you know, kind of like the door here, you can see the reflection of an image in the door. I can see, I don't know how you can see it on the video, but I can definitely see that kind of reflection. I can see the wall behind me in the, in the uh, case of the microwave. And that's a little bit too shiny uh, for my taste. Uh, I like the light reflections very nice, but I don't necessarily want to brush my teeth in my cabinet door. So uh, we decided we'd go with the flat. We also have flat white paint. We get about three quarters of a gallon of flat white paint, which is more than enough to cover these doors. So we decided to go that route. Um, on these doors above the refrigerator, I have not yet primed these. That's why you see this brown line up here. Uh, I will have those all primed up. Uh, and that'll be perfectly dried in and everything before I paint those. Uh, but I need to pull out the refrigerator and use my art brush to get in there behind us because uh, that's where the doors open up into that area. So that's like where I have to paint. It's kind of a pain in the neck, so I just want to take my time with it so I'll screw it up too bad. Uh, so with that, until I catch you in the next video where I show you the, how they look when they're finally done, they should look uh, a little bit brighter, whiter and they'll be also very, very flat white paint. So with that, until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.